Needs a little bit more movement. Good. So he's having a hard time focusing. And that's fine. So much bigger. <laughs> Heel. Good. Good. Heel. Not that thing we want. Good. Heel. Spin around. There we go. I'm able to reward while moving today. One of the days last week, I couldn't do that. He was a little too, a little too worked up, having a hard time managing his excitement for the treats. Good. So that's good, that's some improvement. Also, I was thinking about this today, that like a lot of, a lot of what I do with him is almost exactly the same every day. Good. And the reason for that is the whole point of puppy training is to build confidence, communication, and our relationship. Good. Yeah. Um, and that means doing a lot of really repetitive stuff that's the same every single time. Okay. And one of the things that you get when you do that really, you do the same thing every single day, is he gets really fucking good at it. And then when you need those things when he's an adult, you're not gonna have to practice them as much because it's more deeply ingrained from practicing it his entire childhood, basically, puppyhood. Go find the rest. Go find it. It's almost done. Towards the end of our afternoon session. Uh -huh. See? Good. One to his touch command is really good, so I wanted to up it a little bit. Let's dig in. How quickly he can get this. He might get it really fast. Touch. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So this is some place where a slightly larger treat might come in handy. Touch. Good. Yeah. Touch. Good. So now we're going instead of from my full hand, do a pointer finger. I can buy these two things. Touch. way to kind of up the requirements for the behavior and again this is just touch this is just for fun it gives him kind of a cool little 
New tricks mean more mental stimulation, which he likes because he's really fucking smart. And something like this, touch, just allows you to teach him some really cool tricks later, like if you want to close a door or close a refrigerator, touch. Yes. Or you want him to put his nose on literally anything, touch. Yes. You put a sticky note on it, <laughs> touch. Yes and use that as a bridge to teach him to put his nose on things. Like, if you, if you watch um, dogs in movies, watch them really closely, they'll look down to find their mark on the ground that they then edit out, or they'll go and they'll put their nose on a specific thing, but they, they learn their behaviors and how to go to position by targeting. Right, this, this is called touch. Yes. I want to touch the sticky note, not just my hand. Yes, that counts. Okay. Touch. Yes. Oh, uh, dropping a whole handful for you there, huh? Touch. Yes. Okay, so this is also, we get it. We get it. Also seeing how he understands it. Touch. Does he understand it to be touch my skin or touch my hand? Because just this, touch, he goes straight for my hand. Put a sticky note in it, touch. Good. And sometimes he touches my wrist instead, which is not a thing that he's done before. So it's kind of a cool way to see what his interpretation is of the behavior also. Touch, yes. Touch, yes. Okay. Touch, yes, good boy. That's it. You're done. I know. What do you think? Do you want a break? <laughs>